Hello and welcome to my new Stitch Buddy tutorial. I'm Matthias, the creator of Stitch Buddy, which is an editor for machine embroidery designs. And with its last major update, I had introduced a new feature to add shapes to your designs and have them embroidered. And with the new version, Stitch Buddy 3.1, this feature is going to be enhanced so you can work with text and add SVG files to your designs. And in this tutorial, we will create a small SVG file and after that, use it for a new design in Stitch Buddy. Um, for creating SVG files, I'm using the app Graphic. There are a lot of others like Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, Inkscape, Vectorizer, and much more. The important piece is they need to be able to write or export SVG files in version 1.0 or 1.1. Uh, which can be imported by Stitch Buddy and used as shapes. So let's start with creating a small SVG file in graphic. Um, and let's start from scratch. So I'm using a new canvas here. And the important piece here is that I'm sizing it at 1000 pixel width and 1000 pixel height. Actually, the unit isn't important. But the scaling is because Stitch Buddy is interpreting um, a unit as a tenth of a millimeter. So a width of 1000 would equal to 10 centimeters, which is roughly um, four inches. So here I'm working on a canvas four by four inches and I'm using the grid template just for an easier um, alignment of objects. So let's zoom a little bit out. From that's my canvas and first I'm adding a circle to it um, which should cover more or less the whole working area without a fill um, change the fill to none and I'm just for better visibility or uh, increasing the line with a little bit here so and I'd like to create a peace sign so I knew I need a vertical line like that and an additional line maybe here and i'm just duplicating the last line um, flip it horizontally and align it probably to have a peace sign something like that so now i'm increasing the line width of all objects so I have to select all um, to make it really a sign something like that probably and these are still strokes for objects um, but strokes nevertheless so if I would import them into Stitch Buddy it's just a single line per object but I'm interested in the outline so I need to convert these paths into outlines in graphics that could be done by modify outline stroke and I'm sure there's a similar option in, in your graphic program um, and as you can see it there are still four objects here which are partly overlapping and I'm combining all these objects into a single one by using the union here and just to double check what I just did I'm changing the, the tool to the path selection tool in graphic and you can see here, here path points, anchor points, which are defining um, this object. So it's it's a single object, really. Um, I'm now exporting it into SVG. Um, the important piece here to, is to include all objects and to don't change the scale. So it's still a thousand by a thousand, as mentioned. This is a hundred millimeters or ten centimeters, or four inches by four inches, and saving it for our convenience to the desktop. Uh, so I'm, I'm done in graphic. It's not necessary to save the original or the native graphic file here because I'm just working on the SVG I already exported, which is this one. Um, I also prepared a small design which shows a flower. We need this later on. So let's move to Stitch Buddy. And here is a small 
notification about the new feature set, uh, I can dismiss this. And I'm working on a new design. Let's again zoom out a little bit for a better overview. And I like to add this peace sign as a new shape. So I need the either design add shape menu item um, or I can use the corresponding toolbar item. Um, this new feature was introduced with Stitch Buddy 3.0 um, and it allows you to define shapes by drawing them by using rectangles, circles, something like that. And you can save a path to use it later on. And now with Stitch by 3.1, you can not only open your own path, but you can also select SVG files, which are enabled here. And um, an SVG file can hold multiple objects. And maybe you're only interested in the one which have been stroked um, because Stitch Buddy doesn't import the filling of an SVG file, but only the outline. So there are options that you can restrict the import to include only stroked SVG objects. And there's also an additional help with just mentioned what I'm telling you in this video. So about the units, about the stroked objects, etc. PP. So feel free to, to visit the help in Stitch Buddy, um, which is also available in the menu item. Um, so now I'm selecting the piece. Um, SVG file, importing it. And here you can see the path which that just created with control and anchor points. So I could adjust it further if I'd like to, I can change its position. Um, but for the moment, I'm fine. So um, I'm just adding stitches for this outline and I'd like to have a zigzag stitch. Um, no filling here. Um, so the setting is fine. I'm generating the stitches. And again, zoom out a little bit. So that's a piece sign. Um, I'd like to change it to an orange thread color. Um, here's orange. Okay. And I want to add my small design with a flower to this, uh, to this uh, symbol and to avoid that too many stitches are overlaid, um, the design would become too dense. I'm just removing a small portion of these stitches using the rectangle selection tool and maybe go for uh, maybe this area, something like that. Removing the stitches here and dragging my flower design to cover the section. So looks pretty good for the moment. And um, to show you an additional feature regarding shapes and how they can be used with Stitch Buddy 3.1, I would like to add some text to this design. So I can use the new toolbar item text or the corresponding menu item add text here. Um, the dialog window looks similar to the one used for shapes. Actually, it's it's basically the same one, but with an additional section at the top where you can enter text and change its font and size. So let's enter here piece, for example. And um, a trial limitation for this is the font selection. It's limited to Helvetica and Times New Roman. But for this, um, tutorial, I'd like to change the font to a different one like chalkboard. Chalkboard. I'm increasing the uh, font size. Um, one, um, the, the font size here of 72 points, that's more or less equals to one inch. Um, it's it's depending on the the letter itself, how it is designed, but that's at, at least a rough estimation. I'd like to make it a little bit larger and also changing to bold. And as you can see, the path here, the shape is already adjusted to my selection. Um, nevertheless, it's still a shape for Stitch Buddy, so I can change its, its position 
and I could even uh, change control points. The important thing is if I'm doing that and changing the text after that, my adjustments will just be overwritten. Um, but at the moment, I'm fine with just changing this, the position. So make sure that you have choose the, the adjustment tool here. And now picking the path, changing it uh, to be positioned under my piece sign. And now I want this again outline not with the zigzag stitch, but with a triple run or bean stitch here. Um, no fillings, um, may, maybe caution here. If you're filling text, um, it, it is recommended to add one letter after the other, because otherwise you might have um, a lot of jump stitches back and forth between letters. I covered this topic in one of my previous videos. Um, so filling complex objects should be done one after the other and then these objects can be combined in such body as, as embroidery stitches, just as a kind of heads up. So triple run stitches, piece, the, the font is selected, the font size is selected, I'm just generating the stitches. It's using the last thread color, and um, now I'm, I'm saving this design as a JEF file. Um, again, to my desktop. Okay, I haven't already purchased this, um, so I'm not able to save the design. Uh, maybe that's a good opportunity to show the, you the new inner purchase here. Um, so in inner purchases, it's not only the Stitch Buddy Pro selection, which is required to save designs with more than 1,000 stitches, but there's an additional one creator, and I'm just create, now buying the Stitch Buddy Pro here, um, and it's in a test environment. So um, don't be surprised if it looks a little bit different than it will in, in your environment. Nevertheless, I would be asked to confirm the purchase. And maybe, maybe that's a good opportunity to show you how an inner purchase works in Stitch Buddy, um, which is often a, a question asked. So, and now, as you can see here, uh, I've purchased this Stitch Buddy Pro. So I'm able to now save this design as a Jeff file, as I mentioned. And again, it should be named Peace. Um, the hoop was automatically selected. Um, the colors haven't changed. They were individual colors because when I created this design, there was no file type associated. So I'm changing this thread chart now to the internal color there. So that the appropriate Jeff um, color palette is used. And here you have a piece sign and text here combined in a completely new design from scratch by importing an SVG file and by using type text, which is the new feature set of Stitch Buddy 3.1. Um, you can test these features, as I mentioned, by using uh, the fonts Helvetica or Times New Roman. And you can also test the SVG import, but it will only accept the first path of an SVG file. That's a trial limitation you have. Um, if you're interested to use this feature um, really for production use, uh, you need the inner purchase Stitch Buddy Creator, um, as I just showed to you. And also, if you would like to support Stitch Buddy's um, development, and I will, of course, improve the new feature sets in the future, I would really appreciate your support and your purchase. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'd like to have your comments under this video or in the App Store. And if you like Stitch Buddy and its features and new enhancement, your rating or even a review in Apple's App Store is much appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.